Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria Smasani, where in this video I wanted to share with you my favorite books for um, using for junk journaling, um, flower and botanical type images, uh, which are some of my favorite types of uh, images to cut out. Um, all right, well, let me get, I mean, you're seeing them, but let me get into them one at a time. The first one, I only have the cover <laughs> handy right here. Um, I've actually had in my possession three of these books, and one of them I sold during a live sale months ago. Um, and whoever got it, I know got it at a great bargain. Um, and the other one is somewhere in my garage still, I know, because I saw it recently, but when I tried to pull it out for this video, I couldn't find it. So, um, you know, sorry about that. But yeah, so this um, book is um, about an, like 10 by 8, I'm just measuring it on my mat here. Um, and if you have seen my video where I talked about um, my big binder where I keep my ephemera that I cut by hand, it's right here, I have it handy. Let me show you. These are the images that I got from this book. And I ended up just, like I said, gutting the whole thing uh, because I had so much fun cutting out these images. Some of them are roughly cut. Others I fussy cut a little bit better. As you can see, there's really big images. There's smaller images. There's a few black and white. Most they are colorful. And um, there are also some photos. But most of them are drawn. And um, what I decided to do after I had the book had just very few pages in it, I went ahead and just took the rest of the pages off and just cut them up into, you know, rough squares of the images, which I can always go in and fussy cut when I'm going to use them. It does have a lot of large images, which, you know, for some junk journals may not really be ideal, but they are so beautiful. And um, I think that it has enough all, you know, different size images. Hey, here's a little one I was looking to pull out a little one that it was uh, definitely worth oh that came from a different book definitely worth uh, sharing with you and um, let me put this back okay so there's that book aren't these pretty it's just gorgeous 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 images I had so much fun going through this book so if ever I found it out in the thrift store again I would definitely pick it up and I would pay more. I mean, the, any of these books, I probably paid less than a dollar for, uh, maybe two at the most, just because that's the way I am. I know myself. But now that I have, you know, used it, enjoyed it, cut out, cut out uh, images out of it and stuff, I know that say I were to run out of images, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, I would definitely pick this book up again and pay, you know, more for it than I originally did. So that's Reader's Digest Success with the House Plants. And there are several editions, of course. I tore out the uh, copyright page now, so I don't know which edition this is, but even the cover is gorgeous. So I did keep the cover because I'm thinking this is going to be a glue book eventually for me. Okay. Um, the next one I'm going to share with you, I have not cut into at all. It's Ortho's Complete Guide to Successful Gardening. And again, gorgeous cover. This one is bigger. It is 11 and a half by eight and a half, you know, the size. But wait till I show you, sorry for bumping you there, some of the images in this book. And this one is, let me get the copyright on this one. Look how pretty. <laughs> that right there could be cut out, you know. Um, this one is from 1983. So, um, as you see the contents, you see these little images here? Each chapter has these big, let me, let me go to color and design, um, which is the first one. See, has this that image in there. And they're different pieces of art, so, so these are not photographs. So that alone gives you, let's see how many chapters there are, 15 gorgeous full-size images. Actually, more than that because there's some others spread throughout the book. 
but um, in addition to other photos. Now this is mostly photos, but it does have those pieces of art in the middle of, or, or at the beginning of each, um, what do you call it, uh, chapter. Look how pretty that little black and white drawing there. But, I mean, look at this. It just has gorgeous, gorgeous photos in here. Look at that, it's got a little, it's almost like a little vignette type photo or drawing. So yeah, tons, tons, tons of goodies in this book. So it is, how many pages? Well, this is like paper pages, which are even good because of the quality of the paper. I mean, this would be good just for gluing on or for collage or, or whatever. Look at this little piece right here. So it's got 376 pages before you get into the charts that it's just paper. Um, and these are nice, thick quality pages. Little bird there. So anyway, yeah, this, again, this, I have not cut into this book yet, but it definitely has a lot of potential. Look at these little images. That is so cute. And then, of course, the the big full page images make great pocket I mean envelopes and all kinds of stuff look how pretty okay so that's ortho's complete guide to successful gardening okay and last but not least actually <laughs> I'm telling you the three of them I, I love equally this nice book is about ten and a half inches square but look how gorgeous this I think it looks like watercolor this cover I mean, look at that. Yeah, this is going to have to be a glue book as well because it is just so beautiful, the cover. And the images inside are just as beautiful. I have already cut pages out of here, images. Look at this. I have cut images out of here. I have um, shared images out of here in Happy Mail and, and swaps and stuff. And I still have tons of pages left in this book so it came originally with let's see over 300 pages uh 336 330 okay 360 pages before we get into the index here and look at this i mean that's a beautiful envelope right there actually i'm gonna go ahead and pick it out because um i like it and i've already cut into this book but um yeah uh, i don't want to break it because it's glued in okay okay I, I didn't tear into the color one very much okay so anyway um yeah these books are awesome um so like i said even though i originally only probably paid about a dollar for each of these if i were to find them out there in the thrifty wild or if I were to run out of images, like when's that gonna happen? <laughs> um, I would definitely pay up for these, okay? These two are Reader's Digest, Creative Garden Guide to Creative Gardening, Success with Houseplants, and Ortho's Complete Guide to Successful Gardening. So I just thought I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know which books have you fallen in love with that you would definitely buy again and again. I know Edith Holden is one that, that out there that's very popular that uh, junk journalers junk journalers love to pick up but I thought I'd give you some other alternatives of these books that I absolutely love <laughs> all right well thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a very blessed day bye-bye